Hi there. I um, <clears throat> thought I'd do another language video. I did one before. Language is something that's interesting to me. Um, almost at the very end of a three year degree, so I thought I'd do something else on it. Um, just quick, kind of pointless. So, um, The word nickname. Hmm. I have a family nickname and it's my initials my initials being Brian Ashley, I mean my name is Brian Ashley James Parry so my sort of initials are BAJ and uh, my family nickname is some is always a variant on BAJ most people call me Badge or Badger but some people call me BA or BJ somewhat suspiciously or a BAJ but <clears throat> badge as usual. Funny thing is no one in my family, I mean that is apart from my mum, no one in my family ever calls me Brian. <laughs> no one. It's so weird. None of them ever ever call me Brian. I don't mind it because I've always been known as badge to them. Um, my uncle a while back goes to my nan, oh maybe we should call him Brian. I mean he is a grown up now. Bri badge is a bit of a silly name. And my nan goes but I can't think of him as anything other than a badge. And um, when uh, my stepfather, he picked up the phone one day and it was my nan. And uh, he goes, uh, Brian, you know, your nan's on the phone. And he passed it over to me. And my nan goes, hi, Brian. Uh, oh, badge. God, badge. <laughs> Not like she'd said something wrong. But it's really weird because no one in my family, apart from my mum and my stepfather. So all my uncles, all my aunts, all my cousins, whatever, call me badge even friends of them call me badge be, you know and uh, but no one outside the family even ha hardly knows I've got this nickname badge or, everyone calls me Brian I swear I prefer it um, <clears throat> don't mind my family calling me badge though I mean they've been doing it for so long it doesn't bother me but it's just funny because <coughs> um, nickname is an interesting word um, a nickname comes from an eek name. Eek as in to eek out. Eek meaning additional or supplementary. So originally nickname was ick, ick name, eek name, and it meant a sort of additional name. It's kind of weird because, yeah, most people with a nickname, it is an additional name in the sense that, um, you know, sometimes they'll be called Jim and sometimes they'll be called Jimbo or whatever, you know. But sometimes they're called James, and it's just, it's like an extra name. Whereas for me, in the world of my family, there is no entity known as Brian. In fact, I've got this kind of theory that if I were to die all of a sudden, say I got run over tomorrow, yeah, I think, I do think about such things. I'm not, I'm not a goth, I promise. Um, I just got this theory that my tombstone's going to have Badge Parry written on it. And they're going to do it. And then my mum's going to go and see it and break down and go, his name's not Badge. And that, that would be the worst thing to happen to me. I, uh, I'd be turning my grave. Like I say, I don't mind the name Badge, but, you know, my name's Brian. But anyway, um, it's interesting because nickname, a uh, nickname used to be an ick name. And you see the N from the word an has become attached to the, the actual noun. Because P, because a nickname, you can't tell if that's an ick name or a nickname. They sound the same, you know. And it originally was a an ick name, and people came to say a nickname. And this is quite interesting because it's happened um, to a bunch of other words too. For instance, the word adder, as in the snake, used to be nadder in old English. It was nadra, yeah. And um, you know, so you had a nadder. And then it became an adder, which is interesting. And it's happened with the word newt. Newt used to be sort of oot, you know, ute, um, back in Middle English. And in some dialects, it still is some variation on oot, you know, without the n, because it was an oot, and then it became a newt. Interesting. Um, you know the way some kids sometimes say, can I have an orange, mummy? And... The mummy says, no, it's an orange, Billy. Well, isn't it funny that the word orange originally comes um, from some sort of weird route through Europe? I can't remember, but isn't it funny that in Spanish it's naranja, more or less well pronounced, 
N, not naranja and orange are cognates. That is, they're related words. It doesn't sound like it, but if you look at the spelling, you can tell a bit because pronunciation is a bit funny. But yeah, N A R uh, A N G A, I think Spanish is. That's got a N on it, and somewhere along the line in English, the N has been transformed to the article, which is weird. Um, it's happening as well. There's a sound change in progress, um, a word change in progress like this. Have you heard of people saying a whole nother story? Um, this actual video is inspired by um, one, wanting to talk about myself a bit more. Um, and two, I watched a video, I can't remember what it was, but I watched it on YouTube the other day. I've watched so many videos, I don't know what's going on anymore. And, um, and this woman, fairly well-educated woman, I mean, you know, she was a politician, I think. She said, a some a something another something she, and I thought oh that's quite interesting because that's kind of becoming standard in America you see what I mean so people aren't saying because another is one word which is formed from an and other but some people are splitting it and sort of analyzing it as a another so you got people saying that's a whole another story or um, yeah but so it's quite interesting, but it's only extended so far. Other hasn't totally been replaced by another yet. You don't say... I don't think people who say another tend to say the another man, the other man. Um, but it's interesting. It's a sound change in... It's a, a change in process, progress. And I wonder if in the sort of 24th century um, people won't be saying another for other, you know? give yeah interesting so i don't know <laughs> you tell me if that's interesting i'm just waffling i've uh, 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 i don't know is that interesting you tell me i don't know i mean the thing is um one of the, the funny things about making videos on youtube is you want to make vids about stuff that are interesting to you right and language is interesting to me but the problem is sometimes it's difficult to know when you're interested in something how academic it is oh i don't know rate it I'll find out if it's an interest by the ratings, whatever.